You have developed citations before for various research projects, but now we are going to look at them in detail. When citing information from books, each of the citation styles need almost the same information, but the order and punctuation are different. These minor differences make a big difference in professional publications, so pay attention to details. These citations are based on a fictitious title. I simply made it up just for these examples. So let's work with it some more. First, all citations begin with the author, unless no author's name is provided. Use the author's last name that way it is easy to put the titles in alphabetical order of the author, but that is the only thing consistent with all citation styles. In APA, you follow the author's last name with their initials, with a space after each period. Then put the year of publication in parentheses and close the date statement with a period. Next is the title. Make sure it is in italics and only the first word and proper nouns are capitalized. After the title, put the city and state of the publisher followed by a colon, a space, and the name of the publishing company. If the publisher has a common publisher abbreviations in their name, such as CO for company, or INC for incorporated, or PUB for publisher, and there are many others, you may use the abbreviated form. Each of these sections of the citation are called statements and each ends with a period, just like most statements in writing end with a period. The publisher location and the publisher name together make the publisher statement, so it ends with a period as well. Also, note that the citation is in the hanging indent format. The first line is at the left margin, and the rest of the citation is indented one half inch from the left. Now, let's pretend that J. A. Arnold also contributed a chapter in a book, with each chapter written by different authors. By the way, this is very common in academic publishing. Most of the time, these books have an editor, and if that is the case, then each chapter or section is cited as a separate source. To cite a chapter, begin with the author of the chapter you are citing, then put the publication date for the book in parentheses. The chapter title follows, again, only the first word of the title and the subtitle and proper nouns are capitalized. After the chapter statement, denote that it is part of a larger work by putting the word in, followed by the editor names and the comma, and then the title of the overall work. However, if the entire book is written by the same author or authors, there won't be editor's names to add to the citation. Check the title page and the table of contents to verify this information. Specific information about the work, such as the edition and the particular chapter or section used, follows, with the volume number and the page span all in parentheses. If this is the first edition of the title and the whole book was used as a source of information, no specific title or location information is needed. The city and state of the publisher is next with a colon and then the publisher name. So now you have a sample citation for a complete book and for a book chapter. In this example, each statement or section of a citation is in a different color which should help define each section. And once again, if you have any questions, please contact me. I'm available.